You're listening to Act on Grassroots. So you wait ages like a bus and then two Act on Grassroots come in a short space of time. So good evening, dear listener, from the Eriff Stadium where we are here again for Eriff Town up against a new opposition and a new team for the pod, Punjab United. Uh, big, big game for the Dockers in this home fixture. It's a rather wet evening, but it's one where uh, a win is needed. Uh, top of the Scaffold Division is very, very close at the moment with only 10 points separating the top four. Eriff Town currently in fourth. Um, Eriff and Belvedere our top uh, with the result last night with Erif and Belvedere drawing with Stansfield that puts uh Air of Town with a game in hand on their neighbours so you know it could could get rather tasty at the top of only a few games to go um, we will quickly do the run through in the form at the moment so Air of Town is managed by our friend on the pod Adam Woodward currently as I said in fourth place they've played 31 119 drew five lost seven They've scored 61 goals, which is an awful lot, averaging just over two a game. And they've conceded 36, so a pretty decent goal difference in 62 points. Uh, Punjab United, uh, their manager is Jagjit Chippy in uh, speech marks, as he is on the Scaffold website. Chippy Shan, 11th place, also played 31. Won 12, drew 7, lost 12. Uh, Their goal difference, 4 is 52, and their goals against is 56. We say it all the time, Skeffle, all the time. There are goals. There are goals in them damn heels. Or goals in the game. Uh, The two teams are making their way onto the pitch now. We have Irritan in their familiar red and black strip. And I can't actually see through the net in what colour Punjab is. It looks like a sort of light blue colour. Uh, so this should be a very, very entertaining fixture where we will see goals. I have the eldest of the Avery clan with me because the middle is too busy playing on his Nintendo Switch and the baby is indoors. Uh, he's not re- He's a bit of a fair weather football fan, dear listener. He only likes it when we are playing and winning. Um, so I'm going to ask Avery Senior. Well, I'm Avery Senior. I'm going to ask uh, the senior of the Avery f- children what do we think today's scoreline is going to be? I think it's going to be 2 0 Eriff Town. 2 0 to Eriff Town. Oh, that's not saying too loud. There's some Punjab United fans just down there. Um, not under the cover of the shelter, down the end, brave in the rain. Uh, there's a few in attendance here. Not, not a huge attendance for today's game. I think the rain has put off quite a few. There it is. And I think I am going to go for a narrow 2 1 Eriff Town win. Eriff Town need the points. It's, a, it's as big as that. They're taking, making their way on the field now, and we'll check in when we get some action. And before a ball's even kicked, dear listener, we have another drum. If we are playing uh, the drinking game in the scaffold divisions, we have a shot every time. There's a drum. This is another ground, another team where we have one. Up the Dockers. And we're three minutes into the game so far, and Irritan take the lead. Stedman Kellender with another goal for the Dockers to make it 1 0. A um, little bit of a scrappy couple of minutes, uh, whistle was being blown a few times, um, but then a ball's played through to the number nine, who's got the armband for the day calendar, and he runs around the goalkeeper, does well to beat the back line, and slots it in the back of the net to make it 1-0, three minutes in. He's a name that's also always said on this podcast when we're ever down here, Kalenda, top, top player, three minutes in, with the armband, here if Tan take the league. Some sloppy passing there by Punjab United. Sees a ball played uh, and intercepted, cut out by the 12th Mirror of Town. Um, and a long effort goes high and over the bar uh, towards the, we'll call it the KFC end. The KFC end, because that's probably the uh, only thing I can see in the distance there. The drummers aren't particularly happy. To be fair, they've all got their hoods up there and they're having a bang on their drum. They're 1 0 down. Uh, goal kick is now taken by Punjab and it goes out for a throw. I think it's going to be one this evening. Um, the, the boy with me, um, you said, didn't you, young man? You said that the rain is going to make it an interesting one and make it a bit slippy. Yeah. Um, it seems a bit difficult to get under control at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. In something 10 minutes, I have to say, here of Tan are uh, definitely looking the better side, very pacey as well. Um, Punjab United, they look to seem to be struggling to get any kind of rhythm into the game. Is it? The, you can say it's the rain, but both teams have got to play in it. Um, but here of Tan have got a couple of players, you know, we're a little bit, a little bit nippy, not, not just uh, Calendar who tends to sit on the shoulder and beat the last man, but the 12, unfortunately, I didn't get his name. I'll have to check at half-time. Um, is, is really, really nippy. And obviously, Harry Taylor, the number 10, um, is another player for Irritan, who's won 
who um, who seems to have a little bit of pace band. Big big guy as well, so he, he could hold the ball up well. Um, Era of Tan are definitely looking more sharper. They look like they, they sort of want it uh, that little bit more at the moment. Punjab, very much like a long ball over the top there into no one. Uh, goalkeepers call for it. Again, I'm not criticising too much. We're only 10 minutes in. Um, but one thing I will say, um, Era of Tan do look like the more dominant team and why they are the ones who are pushing for promotion. Era of Town are the definite better team because they've obviously scored but they've just been on attack, attack, attack and the other team haven't done a lot with the ball. No, and, and a couple of their balls seem a little bit sort of long and uh, woeful. Yeah, and I think the rain isn't really helping for either teams yeah. because, if, for example, if someone does a slide tackle, they could go really far. And then, yeah, then they're in trouble, exactly. I have to say, along with um, the last time we came here, me and Nick, um, we, not only did we talk about his marital bed from the bedpost shop, which is still advertised here, um, but I remember the Stansfield goalkeeper, I think he put his fist through the glass of uh, the uh, dugout from memory, um, and they seem to have done quite well. So uh, if you're the local glazing company in uh, Erif that's fixed that, fair play to you. I mean, I sound like the BBC here um, and won't say it um, because of impartiality laws, which we know a lot about recently. But in truth, I don't actually know any Erith Glazing companies around here. So, yeah, if you're a listener of this pod, Erith Glazing, I've just made it up. Well done. You fixed it. I'll tell you what, dear listener, he is absolutely teaming it down here. He's throwing it down. It's that sort of uh, rain that looks like fog. Um, Harry Taylor there just done really, really well, run down the right wing. Pulled the ball across there to Stemman Kalenda, um, who was about six yards and It was just cleared by Punjab. Uh, the Punjab um, right wing has now just been played the ball, but again, that ball has zipped away from him um, and has been cleared into touch for a throw. A moment ago, we was just saying, me and, uh, me and the boy, we were saying how um, if you slide tackle a bit too far um, or if you try and slide tackle this, you might end up sliding a bit. There has been a couple of them, I'd have to be honest, the 16 um, for Ear of Town did a good slide tackle. Didn't seem to have had that much effort in, but he went a long way and over on the far side as well. So yes, will be a very, very interesting evening. It is teaming it down and I'll tell you what, dear listener, that, that throw off line is looking rather moist. Yeah. Coming up to a half hour into the game now, and uh, Era of Tan are, are the better side, so there's no two ways about it. Um, Punjab offering very, very little in terms of attacking wise. There's a couple of times they've, they've threatened to break through, but not really got too far. Um, Era of are looking to get the second goal. Corner on left hand side from Era of Tan comes in, and yes, there you are. Met in the hair. Uh, I couldn't see the number, but met in the air nicely by the defender, and it's 2 0. And to be honest, that's what Era of Tan deserve. They've, they've been. Head and shoulders, the better side on the pitch here. Punjab are, to be fair, they are trying a few things. Like they're trying to play the ball out wide to, to the 11 on the right wing, but it's just not really coming off for them. And the ball isn't really running too well for them. Here with Tan, yeah, they've, they've come here. They've come here to do a job, and the job is being done. 2-0, um, comfortably 2-0. Harry Taylor, so there we are. The player we mentioned earlier on, Harry Taylor um, gets the goal. So that's the 9 and 10. Uh, three of ten both scoring now uh, just coming up to half hour gone two nil to the dockers up the dockers but to be fair the band are still playing um, one of them ain't even got a trumpet he's got a cone from like decathlon oh he's throw it, throwing it down in anger and you can hear the rain now it's uh, pretty uh, pretty torrential that's not the band dear listener that is the rain hitting the roof I have to say, dear listener, this is getting very heavy and there are patches of mud and puddles forming all over this pitch and both penalty spots are basically submerged. Uh, the centre, so the ball, the ball's not even bouncing really anymore. It's gone from skidding to, to bounce, uh, to just stopping dead. The touch line is completely, completely, yeah, there's, there's more water than there is actual mud. Uh, and, uh, and half the running track where it doesn't drain off, where it's that clay surface, um, there's just mass, mass puddles everywhere. I know they don't play on the clay, so they're lucky there, but there are a couple of times now that the ball is, uh, the ball's either spinning out of control in certain areas or it's doing that stopping dead every time it sort of bounces or, or someone tries to play it. Um, was it as bad as when I was down in the from Belvedere game? I'd say rain-wise, probably not, but surface water, it definitely is. It, it, it is very, very wet here. Uh, I wonder, wonder how the second half's going to go because, yeah, I'm, I'm like, you, when, so when you're in the town stand, you can see the pitch obviously clearly, 
but you can't normally sort of see like too many Good line, line up. there's too many uh, sort of skid marks or things like that on it but you know you're seeing patches of water everywhere we'll see how it goes coming up to the end of the half now and i'm not sure because of the conditions possibly it's got to be um but it's definitely um it's definitely sort of died to death the, the the way the game's been played we're just at a moment now where the referee's given a drop ball to um Irith town um who's played it back out for a punjab pro because of the, the way the ref was involved in the play there um Irith town as we've said for the majority of the half have been the stronger team um, last few minutes, as we say, at a half, we're going to have a Punjab pro um, on the far side where the dugouts are. Um, I, f I do feel sorry for these um, officials and players being out in this. And also the ball boy, in his credit, been running around getting footballs. It's, uh, it's, it's not a nice one to be out there. Uh, long goal kick played now to Punjab. Um, the 11 does well there. Brings Dan Ref gives a free kick uh, to Punjab on the edge of the box. Uh, I think this pretty much sums up the half from a Punjab point of view. They're trying a few things. It's not really coming off. And the rest been a little whistle happy. Good half from here, Tan. Really, really good stuff. Um, but saying that, Punjab on the attack. They've had a shot. Keeper's held it. Keeper's saved it. Cleared off the goal line. Oh. 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 Curse of the commentator. Just as old Santa Maria of Tan will be happy with that. Uh, Bit of a mistake in the back line, but no, that aside, they've been very, very dominant, very, very convincing here at town. Definitely playing like a team who are in the top four pushing for the promotion. So, yeah, so it's half time, we're up in the bar where we're um, trying to survive the monsoon that is outside. Um, just having a quick look, I made my usual show notes uh, before the game, and Irritan's last five games have been very convincing. Uh, they've only lost to one in the last five, they've beat Burstead or Beerstead, uh, Bearstead. They've lost to Phoenix Sports 2-1, which was a close game, not far from here. Um, away, they beat Tunbridge Wells, they drew uh, Bearstead again, and then they beat Kennington 3-1 away. Uh, Kennington were a good side last season, I think they finished in the top five. Punjab United's been a little bit more hit and miss, but have had a couple of good results. They've um, beat K-Sports 3-1 uh, at home, they beat Kennington 4-0 away. They lost 4-1 away to Stanfield, who for me are a bit of a surprise team this season. You know, they come up from Scarecrow Division 1 last year, and they're really, really doing well in the division, um, really maintaining it well, and, and never really been in any threat of relegation. So fair play to Stansfield this season, where they're getting on. Uh, Punjab also drew with Rustle, and they lost to our very own uh, Fisher FC, round the corner, formerly Fisher Athletic of this parish. Um, just a few notes, again, that I made um, before the game, just to... Um, just to go into give people a bit of background into why Skeffle's so exciting. So, as we said, there's only 10 points that separate Erith and Belvedere in first and Erith Town in fourth. Uh, Phoenix Sports and Dill Town are both in second and third place, respectively. Erith and Belvedere drew with Stanfield last night, as we said earlier on. So, they're now on 32 games um, and they're 10 points for Erith Town in fourth. We're actually on 31. So, there's a chance for Phoenix Sports and Erith Town to really make up some ground. Um, Phoenix Sports also winning at this moment in time 2 0 just down the the road in Crayford. Um, how it works here in Skeffel is basically the top spot gets promoted. So at this moment in time, if it was win now, it'd be Irith and Belvedere and the team who are in second place. They're going to a kind of playoff scenario with those who are third and fourth from bottom in step four. So they have a little uh, game, few games between them, and then obviously the winners go up to step four and the losers go down to step five respectively. Um, I think that's how um, Phoenix actually ended up going down last season. Um, they were relegated. Um, and replaced by a team in step five. Um, Stedman Kellendo scored tonight. He um, had 22 goals before tonight, and so fair play is now on 23 from 34, um, which makes up more than a third of his team's goals, which is excellent. And um, also, Stedman Kellender uh, notched up 100 goals for Erith Town recently um, in mid February, I believe. So, yeah, he's had a really, really good career down here so far for Erith and Erith Town. And he's a player Nick and I both have mentioned um, and said possibly he could play at a high level. Uh, the way he's had a bit of a quiet game tonight, but again, for Stephen Kalender to have a quiet game, he still scores and still a bit of a pain in the backside. But the defence shows how well he played. Um, and finally, finally, a congratulations to Fisher who are through to the Challenge Cup final where they'll play Hollands and Blair on May the 1st down in Whitstable. So they played last night against Sutton Athletic in the semi-final and they beat on aggregate and Holland and Blair beat Kennington on penalties. So if you're a Fisher fan or if you fancy getting down to watch the Cup final, Whitstable isn't that far. It'll be at the beginning of May when the weather should be nice. Um, and you know, make a day of it. Get down to see a local side um, who have got a lot of uh, roots in Rotherhay, Bermondsey traditionally and uh, obviously close to Millwall. So I'm again back with um, 
the eldest of the Avery uh, children. What do we think of that first half, mate? First half was pretty decent, but I think Erith Town have had a great half, but the other team should do a bit better with the ball. I know it's been raining, so they have a bit of like an excuse why they haven't controlled the ball very well. But Erith Town have been playing in the rain too, so I just think the other team should do better than this half. I thought what I've liked about Ear of Town so far is that they've um, they've done a they're, they're they're trying different things out. A few times when we were come down to see Ear of Town before, um, you could sort of kind of critique it was a little bit not one dimensional, but um, they struggled to play the expansive game when there was a couple of goals behind. But they're actually playing some nice stuff now. They're trying to play through the middle. They're playing the long ball and they're also playing down the wing and trying to cut in. Harry Taylor is having an excellent. Uh, game so far he's had a good season he's joined from uh, Red Velvet a couple of years ago and as we said him and Kellender are, are playing really really well the back line haven't been overly troubled for Erith Town um, it's been a very very good performance from them um, we're going to have to see how the second half goes because when you come up to the bar level um, we'll put the pictures online I've sent them over to Nick it's very wet you know and there are a lot of uh, groundsmen out there with pitchforks um, the referees have come out uh, for the game and they're rolling the ball around to see how it rolls. Um, and they've also said to um, to basically the ground staff here that certain areas need to be cleared. And when I say they are finding anything to pierce the ground so that this game can continue, I'm not exaggerating. We've got people out there with forks. We've got the sort of mannequins that got spikes in the bottom. The people are using them. Uh, the ball boy is now getting some sort of like training posts that are all sellotaped together to try and make holes. We've got brooms trying to get the water away. I think you can probably hear the sort of smacking noise there. It is all hands on deck to get this game on and fair play to them. Um, fair play because this this is a game that they want to win, they want to do well in. We're halfway through and hopefully, hopefully we can continue with this. So we're back for the second half now, a couple of seconds in. Um, the Irritan goalkeeper just slipped, um, taking a goal kick. Um, and like I just said in the voice note, fair play to the staff uh, here and volunteers who are basically doing everything they can to get this game on. Um, I was talking to a member of the grand staff just a moment ago um, and he said that the referee's happy with the game to be played. Um, a couple of times already this ball's just absolutely stopped dead oh and Punjab should have scored there a goal from the left hand um, across from left hand side has come in um, the 11 who has been threatening for Punjab bursts into the box and just plays it over but back to the conditions I know we've said it and sounds a bit like a broken record they've done really well to get some of this water off the pitch but the rain is still coming down um, the touch line where the linesman um, or this isn't official is running up and down is just based like a wet sponge um, and that was one of the conditions um, of this game being played that the line was clear of obviously any rain and surface water but it's filling up oh blimey and again this is the conditions a, a goal kick's been taken by the goalkeeper a header's come back it's bounced and skidded off and a routine ba routine catch for the goalkeeper has nearly resulted in a goal where it's just sipping around so much but makes the game more excitable the rain is still coming down yeah. Puddles are coming down. They're trying their hardest. Um, we'll stay with we'll stay with this game. We'll stay with this game. There's a lot of character out here, which is good. I mean, the players aren't moaning. They're getting on with it. The the management aren't complaining. There's all around the pitch as we speak. Um, there's there's someone on the far side with his broom trying to get that water off of the area for the um, assistant official. And it's it's just an this is one of those cliches a good advert for the grassroots game. It, it's poor conditions, but people willing to be in it, playing it and, and represent it. Free kick just on the edge of the area for Irritan after a handball. Um, a Punjab player went to slide, uh, missed the ball and it hit his hand. So we're just lining up the four-man wall on the edge of the box here. Uh, I'd say we're about four or five yards out. The referee's walking it back. Uh, nine, I was in nine. The drums have moved. And some are a bit more sheltered. Uh, so to be a fair play to him. Well, I say fair play to him. Who, who comes to foot with a drum? But you know what I mean. Um, they're still here supporting their team. The 11 is standing over the ball like a mirrored Cristiano Ronaldo because obviously uh, Ronaldo was right footed. His whistle's about to go. He's been taken, kicked. Left foot free kick comes in. Oh, Ooh, it's just over the bar. Off. Just over the bar. So, what do we think of this so far? It's been a good half. Nothing really has happened. Oh, there's a sub going on now. 
Yeah. 14 for number zero or something. Number zero, yeah, I think they've got the number wrong, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no, it, it, it have pretty much started. Uh, they finished the first half um, pretty much in control. Punjab had that start, didn't they? Uh, ball's yeah. been a little bit slippy again, as we've said a few times. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's normal service resumed. Rhino's not very happy. His flag's got dirty. His flag's got dirty. I think he's wet. He just wants to go home, don't he, from the look of him. Um, second, it's another substitution for Punjab. But, yeah, I, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think if Irif Tan take their foot off the gas bit, this, this will stay 2-0. I can't see Punjab getting into this game too yeah. much. Um, Goal kick, yeah, probably ain't going but we'll, but we'll see. I think, I think it's one of those games where the players just want it over. To be honest with you, uh, the way the ball's rolling and bouncing. But yeah, that's all right. One thing I will say about the substitutions, they're hilarious. Every time there's a sub, the player leaving the pitch doesn't even stop for the customary handshake or um, anything like that. They literally leg it to the changing room to have a shower and get dry. Um, that's the. Uh, it's one of the first substitutions for Irith and he is, he's probably run faster back to the change room than he did on the pitch. Um, and that's along with the two Punjab players as well. No, I jest, I jest. Um, I've just heard as well, Phoenix are 3-0 up um, at uh, Honesdale as well. So, yeah, so the two who need to win to put pressure on Irith and Belvedere at the top of the table are winning. So it's, uh, it's all going very, very well for them. Uh, long back continued down here at the Irith Stadium. Corner on the left hand side here for Punjab United um, at the KFC end, as we were saying, near their version of the Ultras. Corner gets whipped in deep, all well defended by Irith Town there. It's flicked back inside. There's, there's a melee, there's a melee. Is that a word, melee? Oh, it's gone out for another corner, so we'll stay with it. The goalkeeper, it was like it was like Platoon. You know, a bit of Platoon when he's being shot and he just lunges himself on the floor um, that's what it was like to try and keep that ball in but we'll stay with this here on the right hand side the two um, is it the two or the three doesn't matter two. it's two waterlogged to, to see um, so the corner's going to come in from the right hand side um, everyone's marking up in the box oh the referee's not happy about something I think it's because he's not blowing the whistle for 30 seconds of this game so far but the uh, corner's about to come in from the right hand side there's a bit of movement in the penalty area nicely whipped in it looks good beat the keeper it's gone in he's given the goal as well so there we are there's the Malay 2-1 to Erie of Town so um, yeah my my conclusion early run and not a lot's going to happen has uh, been blown out of water a little bit and the sandbag turned in the screw Erie of Town feel a little bit hard done by the goalkeeper's throwing his arms up and down uh, not too chuffed with that game on just checking the social media there um, and Phoenix Sports who were 3 0 up at half time away at Holmesdale has just had the game abandoned. Oh, and there we are! 3 1 to Erith Town. What a lovely goal that was, and this is where you follow up on shots and efforts. Stemman Kalender on the left hand side has had a shot, the keeper saved it, it's bounced up, and Harry Taylor has superbly, superbly thrown himself into it, beat the offside trap, and uh, put it in the bottom corner to make it 3 1. Back, back to the two goal advantage uh, for Irith Town. Good, good for the goal difference, obviously. And with Phoenix being abandoned, as we've just seen um, at Holmesdale away, this makes it a lot more interesting now because uh, that 3 0, I, I don't believe minute wise, will stand. So we will. Uh, it's, it certainly makes uh, the uh, Scaffold Division a lot more interesting. To quote the Soccer AM, um, whenever someone would feign injury and then get up when they used to go, Lordy, it's a miracle. Well, Lordy, it's a miracle because it's stopped raining. Um, the incessant drumming is continuing. Um, they've gone back to where they um, where they were earlier on, the ultras. I spoke to them at half-time and I was like, you know, I bet you to me banging that drum. They're like, oh, someone's got to do it. I said, well, no, they ain't. No, no one's got to bang a drum, but... Yeah, if that's what they want to do, they want to do. Um, second half after the goal um, for Erith Town again has got um, back into Erith Town dominating. Um, Pudjab have just entered the other um, half now, so they are just in Erith Town's half about to have a free kick. Um, but again, there's not really been too much action from Pudjab apart from apart from their goal, really. Um, so we'll stay with this to see what happens. The referee indicates the kick's due to be taken. Uh, Stedman Kalender's in a one-man wall. He's whipped in with a left foot towards the penalty area. Cleared nicely by a tan. That's pretty much been it all night, really. Every time Punjab have sort of huffed and puffed, well, not even huffed and puffed, just huffed, um, it's been easily dealt with. Irith Town are now four on one um, against the back line. 
touch pip too heavy or shot from just on the outside of the box and keepers done well to save it really should have done a bit more from there the way they broke there and a nice four on one but again three one up um there is daylight between the two sides it, you can't be overly critical but again if that was a little bit closer maybe a 2-1 or a 1-0 or 2-2 or something like that um, then yeah you could ask questions but again with the conditions the shot from the outside of the box was nice but the puddle in front of the goalkeeper pretty much stops it dead um, not overly long to go now it's, it's not been considering the, um, considering the conditions and you know we said what the sort of tempo of the first half was like it's not been a bad game so it's been entertaining um, there's plenty of character on display it's, it's your normal grassroots and, and as we say on this show you know you've got to get down you've got to get down to these games um, they rely on your entry money and the money you spend here and, and these are players and volunteers um, especially volunteers a lot of them do it all for free and you know it's a, it's, a, it's a cold wet evening where everyone is absolutely soaked through to the bone and they're doing everything they can for their local club and as we've said with Vera Town before they're very much a community club so yeah up the dockers seven minutes added on um, come up a couple of minutes ago um, I'm not sure he's got seven minutes from to be fair but seven minutes is nevertheless um, the ultras are getting a bit lively you know they're, they're, they're free one down but with that is this a fire drill um, we've got a few traffic we can see you sneaking out is this a library I think there's only about 100 people here so yeah it's, there's there's not much noise ultras don't get too carried away um, another corner kick on the right hand side here from Punjab there really can't be that much longer left to go um, in the game um, as I said it's been very very straightforward for the town um, there you can see why there's such a, a gulf between the two sides I think the one goal could you say do you know what we plant out won't flatter Punjab uh, corner comes in it's now cleared well out by Era Town um, I wouldn't say that the one goal um, was undeserved but even even when they scored Punjab they were they were never really threatening um, the ball scrambled around in the penalty box now shots come in 3-2 close to contact of what my hand under no real pressure no real pressure it's ended. It, it, I thought it ended it. I can't believe my luck. I always do this, don't I? Everyone who listens to this grassroots show, I'll say something, and as I'm talking, something happens. It's now 3 2. But you can tell by the lack of celebration just uh, how much um, um, Punjab just uh, want this game over, really. Um, to be fair, they're, hur they're hurrying the ball back to the centre circle. Um, basically, it was a bit of a scramble in the box. A bloke about 10 yards out has hit the ball from the outside of his boot along the floor and it's trickled into the bottom corner. Uh, Harry Taylor now about to take kickoff, playing it back, and a big nice long pump forward to take up a couple of minutes of time. Um, we'll stay with this actually because Punjab, this is the brightest part they've probably had all game. A huge goal kick up the pitch, um, pushing the back of the defender, but the ref plays on, so it's going out for throwing now. The three on the left hand side's got the ball. Looks like it's going to get whipped in. Nice cross from the left hand side, deflected out for a corner. Oh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit nervy. Um, well, where was where was where was this Punjab for the first 90 minutes of the game? Um, goalkeepers coming up now, always brave, always brave. Are we going to see a Schmeichel-esque goal in this in this game? I mean, Alison. Alice, did Alison score one? Yeah, head off. Oh right, okay, fair. Oh, that's that's the after my time, Lost dear listener. Um, but yeah, so Punjab, who looked dead and buried two minutes ago, have now got a corner on the left hand side. We're bringing everyone up um, to try and snatch an unlikely um, equaliser. Um, crowd again a bit, sort of restless. Corner comes in from right side, keeper punches it clear. Now that's something you don't see every day. The goalkeeper's got a ball in his hands, the referee's gone over to him and he's uh, shown him the yellow card for time wasting. Yes, yeah, uh, like I say, it is getting quite interesting. Big, long kick up the field now. There's full time. Full time here with town. 3 2. I'm not sure it was a 3 2 kind of result, but three points in the bag for the Dockers. Getting that little bit closer now to the uh, to their neighbours down the road in top spot. We are going to cut off now and then try and catch uh, Adam Woodward for a quick chat. It finishes here. Here of Town three, Punjab two. We're here with Adam Woodward after the game. Um, good good win today. Three points keeps pressure on that top spot, doesn't it? Yeah, it was a good win. Um, the conditions weren't great and let's, let's be honest everyone's played a part in the club tonight the committee have come down at half time the coming down Dean Lee Steve Ollie all, all Dan Sam all working hard on the pitch um, even Rob the, the website guys on the pitch can't forget them guys and obviously also the management team as well are out there doing the work on it Jim 
and yeah, it's 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 really good. Cliff, he's out there. They're all they're all digging in, and that's what this club's about. All of us digging in. Just the chairman sitting upstairs on his ass doing nothing, watching. But no, listen, it was it was immense. <laughs> It was immense. A good team effort tonight. I think we all done really well. Yeah, that was one thing we said at half time. You could see the way the ref was rolling the ball around. You could hear some people shouting and screaming, check this area of the pitch, ref, and check that area of the pitch and all this. And it was good. And that's what we said. You know, a lot, a lot of the people here, not, not just uh, here of town, but all across the league, like, they're all volunteers. You know, they're, they're in <laughs> awful conditions yeah, trying to get the game it, it on. It was like a monsoon. And I, I can categorically tell you now, without them people tonight, this game wouldn't have been played. Like, I've been here, what, four or five years now. We've played here four years. We've never had a game called off here. It just shows when you overuse the pitch, um, and that's what's been going on. You can't you can't expect the pitch to hold up when it's got three or four people on it a week and teams just training on it. And yeah, and again, it needs to be looked at. But look, I don't expect anything different. We we we've got these problems we have here. We just get on with it. We just get on. And we play and look. The whole management team worked worked on something tonight. And obviously, once the conditions, you, you, you got, we tried having a game plan. It went right out the window once the monsoon turned up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, spe- speaking of you, you say about the game itself, I think three two. Um, without trying to be too, too disrespectful to Punjab, probably flattered him a little bit. I didn't think he was really under any real pressure No, I think, in listen, we, we, we identified the fact that Rob, um, well, there was going to be an issue from set pieces. That's why we made the change and brought Rob Saunders in tonight to Mark Lee Dawson. I thought, if I'm honest, the two goals came from set pieces. They're obviously, I, I think they're both fouls. First half, the referees give a foul with a, on their goalkeeper. There's no one within three yards of him. Um, he's also disallowed one to put us three up. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think the referee had a great night tonight. Um, across the board really he's, he's added on eight minutes from four subs and no injuries so I don't know where he's got that from but look we just got on with it we we rolled our sleeves up and we just had a proper battle and look people were questioning us whether we could uh, we can do it when it, this, the pressure's on and the pressure's on at the moment and the boys have done really well tonight yeah I was going to say about the pressure there because you know last season um, we spoke at the Irfan Bell with ear game didn't we you said you, you wanted to sort of win the league look for promotion um, you go on the Scaffold website themselves, they're really highlighting it's basically four teams for those top two spots at the moment. You are one of those four. Um, the result, uh, Stansfield here, if Belvedere yesterday would have won or really helped, did that change the mindset of the game? Of our today? No, look, I've, I've said to the boys from the start, we're not going to worry about anyone else. We're not going to worry about our deal gone. We're not going to worry about here from Belvedere gone. I'm not going to worry about our Phoenix gone. We're just going to worry about ourselves because if we do enough and we still don't get the top spot or second place, then that's all we can do. It's all we can do. And again, like I said, Dan, we've done that tonight. We've got our three points. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on at Phoenix. Um, but look, we just worry about us and we go on. And again, like we said last year, there's no point being in this league if you don't want to win it. Look, we know we're not the most glamorous of clubs, but we do things properly here. We try our hardest and everyone works hard. And again, I can't fault any of my players. I can't fault any of them. Yeah, well, just um final thing. To touch on the players, I thought I thought your back line was excellent today. They dealt with everything that um, Punjab um, sort of threw at them and they left them with a few half chances. Harry Taylor up front, um, Stedman Glenn, the guy, he's 23rd of the season, 24th, something oh, like that. I think he's 30 all competitions now. Yeah, yeah so he, he's, he's, he's banging them in for fun. Uh, JJ got man of the match today. Final word about the, the squad overall? Yeah, listen, I, I, they're, they're a, a, a proper bunch, they're a proper team. The team spirit is absolutely immense. Um, I can't fault any of them. They're a young, young team, and that's what people forget. We've got, I think you've got, you've you've got a side that, when we finished the game, finished the day, we had six teenagers on the pitch. Again, you've got a lot of teenagers on the pitch, and people look at us and go, "They're a young side." Whatever happens this season, we'll be better for it. If we get promoted, fantastic. If we don't, we keep the squad together. We go again next year, and they'll be better for it. And that's the way we've got to look at it. Look, no, we've got no superstars here. We just get on with the football. Everyone's down to earth, and like I said, we just try our hardest and see where we finish. Adam, it's been an absolute pleasure tonight, Thank mate, you. and, and for the season so far. Um, and to the chairman also. Um, fair play, yeah. <laughs> good, good luck, lads. Afton, Millwall.